starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Poor old Jupiter. He's got the rheumatism real bad. Doesn't he work anymore? No, I reckon his working days are over, Timmy. Getting too old. Been retired. A retired horse. <laughs> now look at that, Jim. I remember when Sam used to chase Arabella, both going full tilt. Now he just walks. That is when he ain't lying down. Oh, Sam, put Arabella in the milk barn. Come on, come on, get up. Lassie, don't just lie there. Now go on and help Sam. <laughs> You know, that dog was the greatest hunter in the county. Yeah, most sensitive nose ever saw in a hound dog. Yeah, oh, great with rabbits, raccoons, foxes, and once he even tracked down a youngster that was lost. Lucky for that youngster, he had a raccoon hat on. Look there! <laughs> Lassie sure puts life in Sam, doesn't she? Sure does. Yeah, he really does. Yeah, it's great to have them all around. They're just like old friends. And sometimes I think, Timmy, that they're a darn sight better than some human friends, you know. Hi, Cully. Oh, hi, Paul. How are you today? Oh, fine, thank you. Hi, Dad. Hi, Timmy. Mom say anything about my room? No, Mother didn't send me after you. Uh, Cully, I... What about your room? Oh, nothing. No point in stirring things up. <laughs> you know, Cully, I've been thinking over something. Seems like a pretty good idea. Well, a man can always use a good idea, Paul. Well, you've got about 20 acres that you're not farming. Now, maybe we could make some sort of arrangement. Supposing I, uh, I rent it or... Or I could share crop it. Uh, well, no, uh, Paul, uh, you know, I've been intending to... It'd mean extra income for both of us, Cully. Now, you've only farmed a small part of your acreage for the last three or four years. Most of it's lying fallow, and you know fallow land doesn't put any income in your pocket. Supposing that I farm all of it, and we share. I'll furnish the labor, the seeds, and the equipment, and you furnish the acreage. You thought this up uh, all by yourself, didn't you? Well, yes, No, I... Paul. We've had a lot of arguments about farming and, and the old ways, but this is the most sneaky, underhanded way I ever saw it tell me I'm old-fashioned. Now to date. Why, well, according to you, uh, I ain't even a farmer no more. I didn't mean that, Cully. I just thought that... So I'm letting my land lie fallow, eh? I'm not doing my work. Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe that's the way I want it. After all, it's my farm, Paul. I never said it wasn't, Cully. No, but you said plenty. And most of it was insulting, Paul. Cully, now please listen and stop losing your temper. I get a right to lose my temper. Man walks in here, big as you please, and tells me what an income poop I am. Cully, I never called you an income poop. But maybe I should have. Well, now, what do you know about that? You ain't content with what you've done already. Now you're calling me names. What's the use? Why'd everybody get so mad? Can you imagine the nerve of that man? Mr. Cully, that man was my father. I don't care who he is. 
No man's got the right to come in here and tell me. I'm sorry. Gosh, I've never seen you get so mad. I ain't mad. Yes, you are. You're so mad you're crying. I ain't crying neither. Guess I'm all mixed up. Nobody ever said those things to me before. I wasn't a farmer. I was just letting my land go to waste. But you haven't planted or plowed, have you? You're right, son. And your dad's right, too. I uh, reckon I'm just through. My dad didn't mean that. Just like he spelled it out to me. Cully, you're finished. You are not. Oh, yes, I am. I was just kidding myself. You're a good farmer. I was once. Oh, how them fellas at the farm bureau must have laughed at me when I fought for things. Nobody laughed. Honest, they didn't. I reckon I was pretty stupid. Oh, I could see that Sam and Arabella and Jupiter was... It was all through and needed to retire. But not me. I just couldn't see that old Cully Wilson was making a fool of himself. The worst of it was that he wouldn't listen. All he did was lose his temper. You'd think Cully would know that he wasn't really farming anymore. You know, Ruth, some of those fields are waist deep in weeds and grass. I wouldn't have thought Cully would be so easily hurt. You and he have been such good friends. Well, Cully was pretty childish the way he kept losing his temper. You weren't exactly smiling when you came in here. Boy, what you did to Mr. Cully. Just what did I do? When I left, he was all upset. And it's all your fault. He said he was all through, like Sam and Jupiter. Well, I didn't say anything like that. You did too. You said he was no good and that he ought to retire. I did not, Timmy. I said that... Now, let's just wait a minute. Let's just sit down and talk this over sensibly. Go on, Timmy. You sit down. You too, dear. Now. You say that Mr. Cully is very upset? And worse than that, he said he's all through as a farmer and as a man. Timmy, so help me, I didn't think he was going to take it that way. Mr. Cully isn't old, and he's a good farmer. Well, we think that he is too. The last thing that I wanted was... Now, now, wait, let's just all keep calm. I'm sure we can plan some way out of this. Well, no matter what I say to him now, it won't change the way he thinks. Mr. Cully's my best friend. We gotta do something. It's no use telling you how badly I feel. I did what I did. But I want you to know how sorry I am. That's okay, Dad. I guess I'm not mad at you anymore. I'll tell you a secret, Timmy. I like Cully as much as you do. Then we will do something, won't we? Yes. You go on now. Get washed up for supper. We'll work out something. Gee, thanks, Mom. Come on, Lassie. Morning, Mr. Cully. Huh? Oh, hello, Timmy. What's all this stuff out for? Well, Timmy, I'm getting ready to move. Big job moving. Yeah, I remember it must have been uh, back in, uh, oh, well, I think it was... Uh, Oh, come to think of it, I never moved before. I was born right here, Tim. Then why are you moving now? Well, now, uh, oh, this farm is just too big for a man that's retired. Uh, just uh, too much to take care of, Tim. Are you going to retire, Mr. Cully? Yeah. Yeah. 
And I'm kind of glad your dad woke me up. But you belong here, Mr. Cully. And besides, you're not even talking like yourself. Uh, what do you mean, Timmy? You're giving up. And you never give up. No. No, I don't. Do I? You always get mad and yell at everybody. They give up. You don't. You're right, my golly. You just don't take what somebody says. You fight. Ever since I've known you, you've been fighting with somebody. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Haven't I? Well, Timmy, you know, I always believed that a man should fight for what he believes in. Then why are you quitting? Who said I was quitting? You did. No, I don't pay no attention to me, Timmy. You know how I am. I just get excited over nothing. Then you're not moving? No, sir. No, sir, I ain't moving. Cully Wilson's a fighting man. And I'm gonna stay right here, Timmy, and prove everybody else was wrong. Atta boy, Mr. Cully. I'm gonna start plowing right now. Uh, Timmy, help me harness old Jeopardy. Yes, sir. I never say this to Cully, but down deep in my heart, I'd like to be the kind of farmer that he is. Somehow the, the old-fashioned way seems to be the right way. Well, in many cases, it still is. We've just forgotten. Well, Timmy, how's Cully? Would you believe it? He was packing up to move when I got there. Move from the farm? He was going to sell the farm. Oh, Paul, poor Cully. But I sort of talked him out of it. You did? Uh-huh. I told him how he was never a quitter, and he was always fighting. That was good. So he decided to fight. But now he's working so hard, he might hurt himself, or even worse. Just what was Cully doing, Timmy? Plowing. Then he's going to furrow and seed, all night and all day and all night and all day and all night and day until it's done. Oh, dear, Cully's too old to work that hard. Uh, I know just what's happened. Timmy encouraged him. Now he's going to work himself to death just to prove how wrong I was. So you see, Dad, I guess I made a bigger mistake than you did. Now, don't blame yourself, Timmy. Once Cully gets his dander up, there's no stopping him. Well, couldn't we go over now and talk to him? Well, we've got to have a plan first, Timmy. No, well, I've got an idea. I'll call Mr. Burke at the Farm Bureau. How will that help? Well, I don't know, but we have to have something to talk about when we get to Cully's. Is it right if Flossie and I go over now, Mom? Just to see if he's all right? Well, all right. You run along, and we'll be there very soon. Gee, thanks, Mom. Hello, Cully. Hi. I, uh, I brought you some sandwiches and some coffee. Oh, you shouldn't have done that, Ruth, but, but it's mighty nice of you. I'll, uh, I'll set it up over here. Well, uh, Cully, I've just been talking to Sam Burke and some of the men. I suppose they want me to retire, too, huh? Nope. No, they're offering you a job. A job? What kind of job? Advisor. Calling on all the farmers and asking them to join up. Passing out our literature and, uh, well, talking about new farm methods to them. Me? Old-fashioned Cully Wilson talking new farm methods? Oh, that'd be the day. Cully, I think you're missing a big point. It seems you're not all washed up. You're still an important man. To yourself and to the rest of us. Oh, you ain't pulling me for a minute. Now, I ain't taking that job. I'm gonna shove everything you said to me right down your throat. Your lunch is ready, Cully. I 
guess I just haven't made myself clear. This Farm Bureau work is important work. No, oh, that's make work, Paul, and you know it. Why, I've insulted a half of that Farm Bureau members already. The only reason I haven't insulted the rest of them is because they, they haven't argued with me yet. But, Cully... No, there's no use to talk about it, Paul. You won't know this place in a couple of days. <laughs> And if that Farm Bureau is thinking of picking your place as the Showplace Farm again this year, uh, they better take a look at old Collie Wilson's farm first. Over there, I'm gonna plant. What is it, Collie? Is it your back? No, 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 it ain't the bags. It's just all of me. I'm, uh, I reckon I'm, I'm finished, sir. I ain't a farmer no more. I'm just a tired, worn-out old man. No, you aren't. You tried, Timmy. Like a good friend, you tried. Maybe you'll feed and water the animals for a few days for me, huh? Sure. I'll help it, Cully. Thanks. <laughs> Hound dog, tracking down a fox. Ain't heard that in years. One where Sam is. <laughs> you ought to hear this. Sam was with Lassie, back in the field. <laughs> A gun. Uh, I ain't got a gun. Well, only it's a jet. Never thought I'd use it no more. I'll bet that old hound dog's gonna run that fox right by, right through my legs. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? He's turning. He's getting close to me. Sam's telling me to get ready. Sam ain't had that much get up and go in years. Now, what's getting into him? If Lass is with him, they'd be shown up. Like me, huh? I didn't mean that, Mr. Cully. Oh, the shoe fetch. <laughs> I'll wear it. <laughs> Sounds like they're gonna come flying out of the woods any minute. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? There's the fox and there's my old Sam right behind them. Look at my lefty go! <laughs> Why, Sam, you old fool, what was you trying to prove? All this time you wanted to go hunting, but I wouldn't let you. I made you retire because I thought you was too old. A Cully? I guess maybe he just needed somebody to work with him. Like Lassie. They hunted that fox together. Lassie helped Sam. Working together. You know, Paul, I think it's a good idea, working together. A man gets older, he needs a little help. Well, that's what I was trying to say yesterday, Cully. We can help each other. I need you, and you need me. Share and share alike. Uh, it'll sure be nice to see the old place looking like it used to. Well, Cully, is it a deal? Paul, well, sure it's a deal. Lassie, thank you very much for taking Sam fox hunting. Lassie, the smartest dog in the world. <laughs> well, Lassie and Sam, Young dog tells old dog how to remember old tricks. Lassie did that for Sam, and Paul, you did it for me. Mm. Look, Lassie, Sam wants to go hunting again. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Looks as though uh, young dog is too tired to keep up with old dog. 
Oh, Lassie. <laughs> oh, you funny girl, you. Oh, Lassie. 